It was born at the dawn of consciousness. It evolved and grew in a perfect symmetry with humankind. It is still growing like a parasite. Heads of Hydra don't rise again. They have always been reason, proud and hateful. Their hypnotizing and mesmerizing eyes breed upon fear and sins of individuals, societies, nations, generations, and civilizations. Sages of old times called them four evil princes of this world, but slave priests worship them as messiahs, saviors of human souls, as the way, the truth, and the life. Many times they change their form to deceive, bewitch, and to evolve in response to any defense of inhabitants of this planet. Where does Hydra hide? You won't find it in the ashes of Golgotha, neither in the streets of cursed city of Corazin, nor in the catacombs buried under the rock of Saint Peter. Who didst create it but human hands and thoughts and words and deeds? It's deep inside each one of us, for the dark is one, but its shapes are many. We are its makers, but we lost control over it. It enslaves us and takes pleasure of our pain, suffering and pity hopes of bright afterlife. The journey you must take will lead you to the deepest labyrinths of your true self, to the heart of the shadow. You must confront it to break 